Welcome to Seed Prod, the best drag and drop WordPress website builder. In this video, you will learn how to create a custom WordPress author page with Seed Prod. Inside of the WordPress admin dashboard, we have Seed Prod installed and activated. We can see it here on the left side in the menu. Since we're going to be creating an author page, I also added some test posts here. So we can go to posts, all posts, and I added six. I also added a fake author that we can work with here. When adding an author page, you want to make sure that the information for the author is updated. You can do that by looking in the top right corner and there's a drop down here and click on edit profile. Here you can go through the information to add for the author, such as first name, last name, the display name, the biography, and their profile picture. If you don't wish to use Gravatar for your profile picture, you can install a new plugin and upload your own. In this example, under plugins and install plugin, I'm using user profile picture, but there are other options. On the left-hand side, we can see seed prod installed. We'll go to seed prod and theme builder. Here you can create your theme templates from scratch. This would be your full website, or you can import one of our pre-made theme template kits. Here you can select one of the theme template kits to import. I'm going to use the yoga and wellness theme, and I'll click the orange check mark to import. Here you can see all of our theme templates have been imported. Since we don't have an author page, let's go ahead and create one by going to add new theme template. Let's give it a name. Under type, let's select a type and click author page. Here you have two options. You can include is author, and this will apply to all authors, or you can enter the ID of the author right here. By doing so, you can create a custom author page for one specific author. So each author could have their own custom design for their author page. To find the author's ID, you can come over to posts, all post, and you can hover over the author's name. If you notice in the bottom left-hand corner on the URL bar, you can see the ID author equals one. So if we want to make a custom page for this specific author, we would put the ID of one. For all authors, we would leave this blank. Let's go ahead and save this page. Seaprod is going to ask us to create a new author page by dragging and dropping the elements on the left-hand side into the preview on the right-hand side. The first thing we want to do is come at the bottom and come up with the layout. So let's add columns, and I'll do a small column on the left and a bigger on the right. At the top, you can see this layout. You can click here on the top left to go to our blocks, and we can start to add the profile for the authors. Let's get started by adding the author box and drag it into the left column. Here you can see it adds a profile picture, the name, and the biography. Let's click on the settings here to modify the design. Here you can turn on or off the profile picture, the display name, the HTML tag you want to use, if you'd like to link it to a website or archive posts, and the biography. Under advanced, you have more options for styles. So we have the name topography. If you'd like to make it bigger or smaller, the name color. Here we have the biography topography. So again, you can make this bigger or smaller. I'll make this smaller along with the color. And if you want to add a shadow. Next, let's add a solid background here. And I'll just add a light color. Under border, we can add a border radius for the corners. I'll add 25. Great. Now on the right hand side, let's go ahead and add a headline. And let's change the headline here to articles or author articles. I'll change the font size and I'll add a divider as well. We can drag this underneath the headline here. Great, now let's add the post for this author. On the left-hand side, we can take the post block and drop it underneath the divider. Let's change the look of this. We'll hit the block settings. And here you can set the post query. We have the type, all of the different options. If you want to query by category, tag, author, we're going to leave this blank for now. We also have the layout. So right now we're using the classic. There's also a card, creative, and minimal. I'm going to go with the card. Here we have a grid layout. You can change that to masonry or carousel. And we can increase the columns here. I'll go with two columns. If you want to add pagination, you can do that. And the number per page. Here you can turn on or off the featured image and the image height if you want it smaller or taller. You can also turn on or off the title if you like. Show the meta, the excerpt, the excerpt length, and the read more. You also have the badge taxonomy for either the category or the tags, which you can see in the top right corner of the thumbnail. And lastly, we have the avatar turned on or off right here. At the top, you have advanced options. To completely fine tune the posts, the text, the image, the border, the content area, the content area border, batch taxonomy, spacing, and more. And there we go. After fine tuning some things, we've added a rounded corner, a background color, and I edited the badge. If you'd like, you could modify the size of the columns here by hitting resize columns. You could pull this over if you'd like and adjust this however you wish. We could also add more blocks underneath the author, such as social media links, recent tweets or even related products to this author or buttons where you'd like to link to their website. Great, after adding all of the content that you like and making any layout changes that you wish, go ahead and save your page and click the down arrow and click publish. 
If you have any questions or concerns, please visit seedbrot.com and check out our documentation page where you can find helpful step-by-step -step explanations. If you need any extra technical help, please visit our contact page and reach out to our support team.